presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. And so now already an estimated 10,000 people have been wounded or killed in this war, many of them killed by snipers who seem to care nothing about the targets, children, civilians. The Prime Minister Milan Panic claimed that recently snipers have been offered $500 for killing a journalist. What you're about to see is an excerpt from a French documentary on snipers, narrated by John Quinones, a highly unusual glimpse of these anonymous assassins. They lie in wait, stalking the next victim through the gaping windows of an abandoned high-rise. Bosnian Muslims who work 24-hour shifts shooting at human targets throughout the streets of Sarajevo. I was born there. His name is Predrag. He's 26 years old, a university student turned urban guerrilla. Four months. Four months I'm a soldier. I don't want to be a soldier. But he joined the struggle because, he says, Serbian Christians are terrorizing his neighborhood. We must go, 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 go! They run because across the way, Serbian snipers are firing back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry, hurry! This rare view from behind the snipers was videotaped what by I French say? cameraman Philippe Buffon. If I say down, you must down. Okay. Who was first fired upon and then escorted to the snipers' quarters. Where we go now is dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Very dangerous. Some stay in vacant offices while the others watch from windows. They scan the surrounding buildings looking for targets. Sometimes they scan for hours and hours. This is the first time in my life when I must shoot the lead people. He is an animal, but he is a man. And it's a very, very terrible moment when you take a gun, when you must shoot. Predrag claims he's shooting only at the enemy, Serbian snipers. Cameraman Buffon disagrees. They might have been aiming at Serbian snipers, but they were also shooting at women and children, at anyone. They were shooting at small houses on one of the Sarajevo hills. They may call themselves freedom fighters, but on the streets of Sarajevo, they're all assassins, whether Bosnian, Serbian, or Croatian. For Predrag, the reluctant Bosnian soldier, it's confusing. It's very, very hard. It may be hard, but minutes later, he was back at his perch where snipers shoot indiscriminately at the enemy, at civilians, at each other, and today, once again, at journalists. The cameraman who taped all this is not surprised. The journalists bring back the truth, and the truth to all sides in this war is disturbing. They don't want the truth to come out. We're going to be joined now from Sarajevo by 